So that's the first interface of our new operating system, which is Windows 11 Professional. Uh, I have just installed it. That's the official release of Windows 11. I read some of the reviews on YouTube, but uh, people might have not installed the latest version because they were complaining about the date and time which is appearing in the taskbar. Uh, it has been fixed in the official release. As you can see over here, date and time is appearing. Uh, further, if you look at the other features on the operating system, um, if you click on the settings, uh, the menu on the left hand side has been improved as well um, with the new icons and everything. And uh, it's uh, really looking professional as compared to the earlier release of it. I'm running it on a virtual machine at the moment and uh, this version of Windows is not activated so far. So if we would like to um, activate this version of Windows, um, as I showed you earlier in one of the other videos which is posted on our website, um, you can get the KMS based uh, uh, key from Microsoft website, the keys which they have shared provided that you have a KMS server running in your organization. So let's complete the setup. and. Uh, And as you can see, it has been activated using the uh, key which is available on my KMS server. Since we are using uh, for testing purposes as Windows 11 Enterprise. So there you go. The version of Windows has been activated. Now we'll see rest of the features which are there on our latest Windows uh, program. If we'll check at Windows Updates. It's up to date, uh, last week and uh, all the other options are as they used to be there, but they have upgraded the overall interface of it. As you can see, it's a latest release, but still it has some updates which are shown up here. Um, and it was trying to get some other updates this morning as well when I installed it. And as you can see, it uh, installed uh, uh, the KB 500 update on it. So let's see once it would finish installing the updates on this operating system. Okay, let's try to shift this taskbar to the left hand side and for that we will click on settings and then we'll go to personalization and taskbar and then taskbar behavior, yep. Uh, alignment on left hand side so now we have it on our left hand side um, so let's close it and let's right click and look at uh, the options uh, they have different views like small icons or auto arrange etc plus sort display setting personalization and a terminal window is appearing here as well so if we would like to personalize the desktop um, and uh, if we'd like to have the themes and desktop icons if they're yep they are appearing over here so let's have the desktop icons back on our desktop and then small icons and then sort by name So if we'll go to the control panel, uh, the new icon set as you can see, but rest of these options are still the same as they were and still Windows 7 backup is appearing in Windows 7 format. Uh, rest of the options are quite similar to what we had earlier and if we are clicking on taskbar, it's taking us back to the main interface. Now you can even see that they have included this Microsoft Teams chat which is included with this version of Windows. Further we have multiple desktops options so we can create multiple desktops and uh, can manage our workspace accordingly. Now if we look at the applications on Microsoft Store So as you can see the interface has been improved and uh, 
quite a lot of applications are appearing on this one and is, as they were saying that they would be including the applications from Android as well so uh, we'll see it here also soon if we right click on the start menu you have options of apps and features power uh, device management terminal task manager uh, settings and everything so let's go to file explorer and uh, try to and they still have that snaps over here which was which were there in the preview version of windows uh, 11 professional like you can arrange the uh, files or snap them as you want to arrange them if you are having multiple windows open you can simultaneously work on those and now the icons has been changed over here as well plus you have large compact views and uh, uh, lots of new icons are appearing um, in this version of Windows. So let's see the rest of the programs like uh, Notepad, it's almost the same. Then uh, we have MS Paint, no improvement in this one as well. And uh, if we'll go to, for example, File Explorer we'll be able to see the same interface and then if we'll go to uh, wordpad for example um, it is also the same as it was there in windows 10 now if we'll go to the settings of the computer in system we have display sound notification focus assistant storage multitasking troubleshooting and rest of the things uh, pretty much the same reset PC and advanced recovery options are appearing here also then Bluetooth and devices uh, network and internet personalization we went through it a little bit for the start menu applications and stuff and uh, accounts and apps offline and default apps video startup etc and we have accounts family accounts and rest of the things speech recognition privacy etc and windows update so for me if you'll ask uh, it's worth changing to the new operating system since uh, it's giving you a new feel anyhow though the options are almost the same as they were there in windows 10 uh, but for me definitely i would like to switch over to windows uh, 11 it's always good to have new operating system installed on your machines so that was pretty much about the new operating system thank you very much